antiseptic technique refers to procedures used to prevent the contamination of a person, a wound or other sites with microorganisms. The primary purpose of implementing a septic technique in wound dressing is to prevent infection of the wound and thereby promote wound healing. In performing an aseptic no-touch dressing, the principles of aseptic technique apply. These need to be followed in order to maintain a sepsis. Avoid touching materials directly with gloved hands. Use forceps if possible. Place only sterile objects in a sterile field. Sterile objects should only be touched by other sterile objects. Once a sterile object is held outside the sterile field, below waist level, or outside the field of vision, it is considered contaminated and should be discarded. The outer 2.5 centimetre margin of the sterile field is considered contaminated. Never pass non-sterile objects over the sterile field in case the non-sterile object is dropped or comes in contact with sterile items. If you suspect an item has become contaminated, consider it non-sterile and discard it. If necessary, discard the whole sterile setup and begin again. Clear non-sterile gloves are usually worn to perform an aseptic no-touch dressing. Sterile gloves are worn only if they are specifically recommended to perform an aseptic dressing on an acute sterile wound. To perform the aseptic wound dressing, decontaminate your hands. Don clean gloves. Use the sterile forceps in the dressing tray to arrange the contents in the field. Place forceps with the handle facing outwards. Place items to be used last at the back of the tray. Pour the normal saline into the tray. Pour from a height at least 5 cm over the sterile field to prevent splashing and to prevent the sachet or bottle from contacting the sterile field. Remove the old dressing from the wound. Discard the gloves and old dressing. Decontaminate your hands again. Don clean gloves. Use the clean to dirty forceps transference technique. This involves picking up sterile gauze or swabs using one pair of clean forceps and passing to a second pair of dirty forceps avoiding touching the tips of the two forceps together. Cleanse the wound, moving from a clean to dirty area. Dress the wound. Ensure the patient is comfortable. Check their pain levels. Ensure the dressing is secure but not too tight. Check the patient's general condition. Discard all waste by wrapping it in the sterile field drape and disposing in the appropriate waste receptacle. Remove gloves and discard. Decontaminate hands. Wipe down the trolley with disinfectant. When performing an aseptic dressing, the aseptic no-touch technique should be applied to all steps. Aseptic technique prevents the contamination of a person, a wound or other sites with microorganisms. Ensure to use forceps to arrange materials. Transfer and clean from clean to dirty and discard materials appropriately.